Hi everyone, this is Dega Schember here. I am co-owner of Foundation Fitness in Cleveland Park, formerly City Fitness Gym, and this is my third take trying to present this lovely morning stretch routine that I do pretty much every morning. Um, it is really good for me and I'm going to share this with you and hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. Uh, it takes about 20 minutes. Um, you can get through it a little bit faster if you wanted to. Uh, I end with a little bit of a meditation. You can cut it off there if you want. Um, it's just a few minutes of just a little bit of meditation. If you hear any noise in the background, I'm at the gym doing this right now, so I'm doing my best. Um, that's why it's my third take. It's got too noisy in here. Um, but try to enjoy this. It is uh, Rodney Yee's program. Some of you yogis out there know who he is. He's very nationally, internationally known, I guess. Um, I have his video from like 10 years ago and um, I love it. It gets me going in the morning. I usually wake up with a little bit of a sore back and so it always feels good for me to do this. Um, so follow along as best as you can. You need a mat. Um, if you can have a blanket or a pillow or something for the very end, it's optional. Uh, definitely a stretch strap, that will definitely help you a lot. So um, I'm going to start it the way he starts it, which is with a little bit of centering, trying to connect our chakra points and just getting us kind of ready for the day. All right, so enjoy this morning stretch routine. I hope that the third take is the charm. I'm going to use this a little bit for my head as well. Um, so you're going to lie all the way down on the floor and turn your feet out, turn your they get cut off there, yes, a little bit. So your feet are turned out, your hands are turned out, arms are away from your side for a moment. Just make sure your head is on straight. Everything is lined up. Take a nice deep breath. When you exhale, place one hand on your pelvic belly, one hand on your solar plexus, and then as you breathe, feel the rise of the belly, the rise of the solar plexus, the fall of the belly, the fall of the solar plexus. Feel that wave from the belly to the plex solar plexus and down again. I'm going to take the hand that's on the pelvic belly and move it to your heart center. And feel the breath move from the solar plexus to the heart center and back. the solar plexus to the throat chakra, throat center. And you should feel that breath moving between these two points. And the hand from the heart center rests on your forehead. And then place the heel of your hands on the eyelids. Eyes closed gently. And bring those arms back down to your side. Take a nice breath. Now bring the feet together. Press them strongly into the floor. Arms out to the side. As you inhale, bring those arms straight up towards the ceiling. On the exhalation, let those arms go back. Reach with the fingertips, reach with your feet. Feel the lengthening of that spine, the space between your vertebra. And when you exhale, draw that right knee in towards your chest. Keep your foot flexed, holding onto that right leg with your left hand. Take a nice deep breath in. On the exhalation, let that leg come over to the left side. You're not going far, you're keeping that right shoulder on the floor. Inhale, bring that knee back to center, switch hands, and let that right leg fall out to the right. And come back to center, draw that knee back into your chest. 
Anytime you draw the knee in, try to round that back, press that low back into the floor, release that right leg, draw that left knee in. Nice inhalation. On the exhalation, holding that knee with that right hand, draw it across your body to the right. And then up and out to the left. Get nice and open. Come back to center, draw that left knee back in. And as you exhale, release that leg straight out. Now draw both of the feet in, knees open, soles of the feet together, hands at your hip flexors, right at the top of your hip, hip crease. Press the lower body away from you. Again, try to feel the space that you've created between the vertebra. And then release by bringing the knees together and draw those knees in towards you, but separate those legs. Shins are parallel to the floor. Draw those knees outside your torso towards your shoulders. Keep your low back on the floor. Bring those knees together, and if you can, lift your forehead to the knees, knees to your forehead, get nice and round. Shoulders relax. And come down with the feet on the floor, arms up to your side. Bring those feet back up off the floor. Inhale, on the exhalation, let those knees drop over to the left and hover. On the inhalation, bring them back in. Exhale and let those knees go over to the right. Hover, try to keep the feet away from your body. Inhale, come right back up. Place the feet on the floor, separate your feet, knees together, press those knees together, press that low back into the floor. And release. Feet together, extend those legs, grab that stretch strap, towel, to whatever you have. Draw the right knee into the chest, extend that right leg up with the strap around that right foot. Extending straight up. Now remember with this part, you want to keep that leg straight. It doesn't matter where it is, okay? It could be far away from you. As long as it's straight, you're getting the stretch. As soon as you start to bend the knee, you lose that stretch. So straight is what's key. And now take an inhalation on the exhalation, holding the strap with the left hand. Draw that right leg across your body. It doesn't have to go far. Inhale up. We're going to switch hands. Let it go out to the right now. Get nice and open. I could go a little further open, but the mirror is stopping me. Come right back up and now draw that right knee down towards that right shoulder. Press back up. And when I lower the leg, I actually lower it using the tube. Ease it back down, and then draw that left knee in, left leg up, using that strap around that left foot, get nice and elongated. You want to make sure to flex that foot, press through the heel, pull the toes towards you. Listen to your body when it lets you in a little deeper. Go there. Don't force it. Guide that left leg slightly to the right now, using the right hand on the strap. Keep the left shoulder down, keep that leg straight. Inhale, bring it back up, and when you exhale, let it fall out to the left. You're not going far. Do not tip. Just get nice and open. Come back to the center. Same thing here. Draw that left knee down towards that left shoulder. Excellent. Press it right back up. Ease that leg back down to the floor slowly. And now we can bring that strap in, move it off to the side. Place your feet on the floor. Try to keep your hips, knees, and feet lined up. Arms by your side. Elevate those hips. 
Try not let the knees splay out. What helps me is if I keep my big toe on the ground, then I'm pretty centered. Now, clasp the hands underneath you and try to lift up a little higher, wriggle those shoulders under, get nice and open, open through the hip flexors, through the chest. Release the hands and slowly lower one vertebra at a time. Ease it down, ease it down to the back is flat. Beautiful. Now I'm going to roll over onto that right side. You're going to come up on your forearms. Your toes are on the floor. And you're just going to lift up, pressing through those heels. Lift up, press through those heels. And then flatten those toes. Bring yourself back down, forehead on the mat. Move your hands down by your chest, by the side of your body. And come back up into Cobra. Modified Cobra. I'm not taking my hips off the floor. I'm just getting open. This should feel really good. Ease yourself right back down. And then we're going to push up onto all fours. And you're going to circle your shoulders and your hips three times in one direction. Really exaggerate it. Move around. And then three times in the other direction. Moving everything, shoulders, hips, beautiful, excellent. Come back to center. And now, tucking those toes under, come on up into down dog. So you're going to lift up those knees, straighten those legs, press through those heels. Try to have that V shape. I do not have a perfect down dog, but I'll tell you what, it feels great to me. Push through the heel of the hands, press through your heels. I feel a nice stretch through the back of my legs. Nice deep breath in. When you exhale, bring that right foot forward, left foot forward. Stay low, hands on your thighs, come into a modified chair position. And then come all the way up to standing. Whew. And Separate your feet about hip distance apart. Clasp those hands and bring them up over your head. Take a nice deep breath in, and then take a little bit of a lean to the left. Turn that head slightly to the left, looking into the crook of that right arm, and come back to center. Nice inhale. Exhale, a little bit of a lean to the right. Slight turn of the head and back to center. Release those hands, and now we're gonna come back in a sitting position, and I'm gonna face you, bringing my feet forward. Legs extended. So with those legs extended, I'm gonna change this view just a little bit so you can see a little more of me. Good. Sitting up nice and tall. You're going to bring that right knee in towards you. Lift up, sit up. Now be careful. I know I let my knee fall out a little bit, so really try to keep it in. Grabbing onto your shins or knee, lift up, sit up tall. Now take that left arm over that right knee, right hand behind you to help you sit up, and then go into your twist. Now watch this left foot. Keep it straight, small twist, stop, Inhale, sit up taller. Exhale, twist just a little more, a little more. Keeping that right knee in. And come back to center. Extend that right leg and left leg in. Bring that left knee in. Sit up nice and tall. And then right hand over that left knee, left hand behind you. Sit up again and twist. You may notice a little more on one side than the other. Sit up a little taller, twist a little more. Come back to center. Release. Beautiful. All right, now let's cross our ankles. So let's bring the right foot over the left. 
hands on your knees or your shins, lift up, open up, and then let yourself fall forward. Roll back up. Let's get that left foot over the right. Knees or shins, lift up, and ease yourself forward. I'm grabbing onto my feet, rounding forward. Come back up. Take your right hand to your left knee, left hand behind you, sit up, one more twist. Come back to center. Uncross, recross, or right foot over the left, left hand on that right knee, right hand behind you, sit up, twist. Beautiful. Come back to center. Now, if you have that blanket or towel, this is a good time to sit on it, just to elevate those hips a little bit. You're going to take the hands behind you and slight tuck of those hips back. And then bring those self forward. Come back up. One more time. Tuck. And this time when you come forward, hands on your inner thighs. Try to slightly rotate them out. And now gently place your hands on your thighs. And you have completed the morning stretch routine. It didn't take long. I hope you feel great. I'm going to take a few minutes for a little meditation. I will share the meditation that I use. If it helps you, then use it every time you do the stretch. If not, mute me and do your own meditation or just end the video. So I'm going to start by calling on the universal energy, which I refer to as our universal light spiritual light we call by all kinds of names Allah or God whatever you want take a nice deep breath in oh spiritual light my heart is open to you please come sit in my heart fill my heart and direct me through the day I am whole I am healthy I am good I am positive happy, loving, inspiring, and bright. I am filled with the light. I am protected by the light. I am connected to the light, and I am directed by the light. I am thankful for my beautiful family, for my great health, for all the love that I have in my life. I am thankful for the gift of another great, glorious, and day. May your light shine through me. May your light guide me. May I practice loving kindness throughout the day. Namaste. The light in me loves the light in you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you do this every morning. I hope that you really enjoy this as much as I do. I think we got through this one okay. Have a great day. Thank you again.